is Miss Evans and Mr. I'm Griffin. Mr. Griffin. Hey, Brandon Shrink, what's up with you? <laughs> All right, so how was, how's your week been so far? You know what, it hasn't been too bad. Teaching eighth grade math is something that's gone really well for me this year, so I'm really excited. It's gone really well, so I've had a good week. Very good, very good, very good. Well, we're just here to talk about and kind of recap the week. Um, it's a Thursday. Um, tomorrow will be Friday. We're getting ready to have the weekend. Um, we just want to kind of go over a little bit about what we've done this week. Um, so yesterday, um, you should have done uh, lesson three, and you learned about, is it paradigms, paradigms? Pretty sure it's paradigms. Parad well, we don't have any coins, but yeah. Paradigms. But not the two dime, like yes. Exactly. So yes. paradigms. Yes. Um, and paradigms are just the way that you see something. Um, and it's kind of like our point of view. And paradigms, we can shift our paradigms um, as we learn. Um, more and as we experience more hopefully our paradigms shift um, hopefully you have some positive paradigms and you don't have negative paradigms wait I didn't get a cookie what cookie? Oh, what are you talking about? <sighs> hit a couple before yeah. that's okay um, negative paradigms um, aren't holding you back from something that you really want to do um, and then today, your lesson will be about just, um, you know, your freedom to choose. Being proactive, um, part of being proactive, which is habit one, which we are focusing on, is, you know, being able to choose your response. So before someone, you know, if something happens to you before automatically responding, you're able to just take a break, take a breath um, before you actually respond to that. I think that's a great thing to say, and uh, it basically just means don't put yourself in a box to make sure you think about the fact you're a multifaceted person. There's a lot to you. You're not just one person or one type of thing. You, you need to think about more than one thing that you belong to, so that's a, a true representation of what a paradigm is. That's right. And we hope you're enjoying your little lead journals. Uh, we'll have lead lessons like out of this again every Tuesday and Thursday, and hopefully some fun um, video accompanying those um, from time to time as well. Fun! Woo! So let's read, let's think about next week. Um, Monday through Wednesday, sixth grade, um, academic team tryouts uh, will be after school until four o'clock. So make sure if you want to try out for academic team that you are here. Um, on Tuesday, Tuesday's a big night. Um, it'll be eighth grade recognition for football. Um, I and pledge that will allegiance be... to the flag of the United States of America. And to... Um, it'll be eighth grade recognition, um, like I said, against Webster County on Tuesday. Uh, so and make sure to the you come Republic up. for which it stands, one nation. So make sure you come out and support your eighth grade students. Um, they're doing a great job as Mr. Clark. Under God, indivisible, with liberty. As Mr. Clark announced this morning. And justice I for all. I believe that we're second in the WKAC for eighth grade to so come out and um, cheer them on, um, and it'll be a fun time. I agree. Second place is a first, but we can we can get there. Just two is less than one. Math teacher, math teacher. Math teacher. Yes. 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 So, anything else you'd like to add about um, maybe paradigms or shifting our paradigms, or anything about being proactive in your freedom to choose your responses? Anything you want to add, Mr. Griffin? Just the fact that I have something on my head and I don't know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> but you are choosing not to respond in a negative way. That's exactly right. So you're being... The stimulus was negative. I could have responded in a negative way. I could have lashed out. I could have completely under tomb, uh, tombstone pile driver down, but I chose not to. <laughs> so we're just going to calm down with that because that could have been a negative reaction and we don't need to respond because as we can see very clearly, Mr. Shaw is an invalid. Have and, you uh, seen yes. my car? That way. that way, that way, that way, that way. Alright, Running Springs Bear as well. We just wanted to make sure that you are focusing on habit one, which is being proactive. Um, think before you act, and remember all of the things that go along with being proactive, and we will catch you next week. Happy birthday.